Clarksville line was the last of the three to reach Plymouth in 1902. We're now going up Rice's Hill, leaving Main Street, Edwardsville, and going onto Jackson Street at a normally used passing track known as Jackson Switch. From here we swing onto Orchard Street, and at this point we're swinging from Orchard Street, by now we are in Larksville, onto Wilson. We're going on Wilson. And here is Wilson Street, outbound. We are swinging on to Luzerne Avenue, Mine Cave area. In this case, we have an inbound car coming off State Street and going in Luzerne Avenue. And we have made the turn onto State Street. And in the background, you can see all the refuse piles from the mine operations. Still climbing a grade up to State and Nesbitt Streets where we enter private right away and we normally pass the regularly scheduled inbound car at this point. In the background we have mining operations although the hillside is covered with trees. Here's our inbound car climbing the grade from the area known as Polk Hollow by many of the natives. We swing around the sharp curve here, and in the background you see a piece of stripping equipment where they're strip mining the coal. This machine had big feet, and it would walk, actually walk into position. We just crossed Mountain Road. Now we're coming along Brown Street. I'm standing on a column pile, mine refuse rock. And we now swing out into State Street again. Years later, a road would be built to connect the two se segments of State Street. Now we're on Washington Avenue, still in Larksville. Normally there would be no cars passing at this point. And as we swing down this private right-of-way, we can clearly see where the car line used to cross a railroad. Used to haul coal from the mines. Coming down grade into Plymouth, we reach the end of the line at what was known as Bull Run Crossing, although the railroad tracks for which the crossing was listed are long gone.